देर आर सो मेनी मेकर्स आई वॉन्ट टू वर्क विथ तो आई फील दैट यू नो ओके इफ देव सीन ट्वेल्थ फेल मे बी दे विल हैव फेथ इन मी टू सॉर्ट ऑफ वर्क विद मी बिकॉज इट इन सो सो मेनी वेज इज माई ऑडिशन टेप दैट दिस एंटायर फिल्म इज माई ऑडिशन टेप लोग नेपोटिज्म की बहुत बात करते हैं यहाँ पे है पर हर जगह है मैं लोगों से ये भी कहता हूँ कि चांदनी चौक में जो अपना गला लगा के बैठा है वो भी तो अपने बेटे को ही बिठा के जाएगा ना इंडियंस ओवरऑल इवन इन टर्म्स ऑफ मॉडर्न हिस्ट्री अगर हम 500 साल की हिस्ट्री देख लें वीव सर्वाइव है वीव बीन ट्रैम्पल्ड अपॉन वीव बीन चैलेंज फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम बट वीव वीव रिजन फ्रॉम दैश इज लाइक फीनिक्स वी हैव दिस इनक्रेडिबल सर्वाइवल इंस्टिंक्ट विद इन देर इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ प्राइड इन अ वेरी जेन्यून प्राइड इन बींग अ मिडिल क्लास गाय दैट इज एग्जैक्टली द रीजन वाई आई स्टिल मेनटेन माई लाइफ स्टाइल एज सच movies in india they are a part of a staple culture hmm. for an average middle class man taking his family once a month to a movie theater is an event not all big films are good films sure the idea is to have a good film to have a film which has a certain sense of an archival value that is success for me what i did in a death in the ganj really disturbed me that was the first time after filming that film I started taking therapy because I felt I needed to talk to someone. एक शूटिंग सेट पे कौन कौन सी जात का है धर्म का है उसकी ओरिएंटेशन क्या है वो किस बैकग्राउंड से आता है वो गांव से आता है शहर से आता है एक्चुअली मैटर नहीं करता जो कहता है वो फंसता है जो नहीं कहता तो उसको कावर्ड कहते हैं आई मीन वे डू यू गो सो देन बाई दी एंड ऑफ इट वॉट वन डज इज विच आई समटाइम्स थिंक इज द बेस्ट वे इग्नोरेंस इज ब्लेस हैरानी होती है कि खास तौर पर जब आप सोशल मीडिया पर जाते हैं तो पढ़े लिखे ट्रोल्स हैं या जो सो कॉल्ड पढ़े लिखे हैं बट हरकतें उनकी वही है तो कैंसिल कल्चर इज ऑल्सो अनफॉर्चुनेटली सॉर्ट ऑफ सीपिंग इन आर लाइफ नमस्ते जय हिंद यूर वॉचिंग और लिसनिंग टू द ए एन आई पॉडकास्ट विद स्मिता प्रकाश डू लाइक और सब्सक्राइब ऑन विच अवर चैनल यू आर सींग दिस और हियरिंग दिस My guest today has acted in some deliciously interesting films uh, like Death in the Gunge or even Dil Dhadakne Do. You've also seen him in TV and OTT serials like Mirzapur and Balika Vadhu. He's recently had a fabulous box office hit with a film called Twelfth Fail by renowned actor and director Vidhu Vinod Chopra. So let's get talking with the very affable Vikrant Massey. Congratulations Vikrant Thank and I'm you. so so happy that you're part of this podcast. I want to discuss so many things uh you know uh, ranging from the new film Thank and you. congratulations on the success of that like uh 12th fail has really it's one of those uh, movies which दिल से बनाई गई फिल्म एंड इट्स क्लिकड सो वेल सो कंग्रेचुलेशन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर काइंड वर्ड्स एंड लगे हाथ मैं भी ये कहना चाहता हूँ इट्स सच एन ऑनर टू बी हेयर विथ यू एंड एज आई सेड मुझे अभी सर ने बाहर पूछा कि स्मिता जी का कुछ देखा है हम आपको लगभग मैं चलो 20 साल तो नहीं कहूँगा बट 10 सालों से तो मैं आपको बहुत रेगुलरली देखता हूँ सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉट यू डू सो थैंक सो स्वीट ऑफ यू थैंक यू सो मच आई एम गोइंग टू first ask you about the film uh it's quite clear that a lot of effort has gone into yeah. making the film you know yeah. uh frankly every time i see a film i haven't seen this one but every time i think of a film which is made on a book i have this trepidation yeah. that it will not match up to the book because when you and read a book and that's the case with most of the isn't it? most of book adaptations yeah but World some over. don't like gone with the wind yeah it didn't like yeah. you know or if you read pigmalion and uh, you see my fair lady i felt my fair lady was way above that i about the book i yeah. i don't know about these books yeah. so okay and gone with the wind also was uh, it was a good book hmm. don't get me wrong but, but the film was better than yeah, the when book when you have clark gable on yeah. screen it's yeah. it's yeah. like i haven't i i haven't seen the other one that you're talking about Pig, my fair lady my fair lady okay yeah. my fair lady was also like fabulous Actually. and the songs are phenomenal you know wow. uh, uh, anyway Anyway. that's let's not go into that but generally hmm. generally i i know that i would agar mujhe sirf aankdon ki baat karni hai to 90% of book adaptations don't land as well you as know? the books right huh. and that is that is a perception also i'm presuming yes. you read the book before of you course. acted i had to Uh-huh. this this is a vidhuvan or chopra film so you you know everything is meticulous there so the script was given to you later the oh okay the book was given to me first tell me how it started so 
मुझे आई एक्चुअली गॉट अ कॉल फ्रॉम मिस्टर योगेश डबू वाला हुज बीन वर्किंग विद मिस्टर चोपड़ा फॉर द लॉन्गेस्ट टाइम यू नो सिंस विनोद सर्स फर्स्ट फिल्म दैट इज फोर्टी फाइव ईयर्स बैक एंड आई डिट नो ऑफ मिस्टर योगेश डबू वाला एंड आई लाइक कि ही कॉल मी एंड इज लाइक कि हाई एम कॉलिंग फ्रॉम वी सी एफ माई नेम इज योगेश एंड विनोद चोपड़ा वॉन्ट्स टू मीट यू मुझे लगा कोई प्रैंक कर रहा होगा मेरा दोस्त क्यों आई वॉज लाइक नहीं बिकॉज मेरे दोस्त करते रहते हैं उन्होंने किया है मुझे कई बार उन्होंने मेरा बेवकूफ काटा है सो आई थॉट आई थॉट मे बी वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स बट इन विद इन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स आई एक्चुअली गॉड अ मैसेज फ्रॉम मिस्टर राजकुमार हिरानी एंड ही टोल्ड मी द सेम थिंग ही सेट विक्रांत वी सी एफ से कॉल आएगा एंड देन आई वॉज लाइक कि ओके ही वॉन्ट्स टू प्रोड्यूस समथिंग सो ही वॉन्ट्स टू मीट यू सो विनोद सर एक्चुअली शफल्स बिटवीन बॉम्बे एंड अ प्लेस Around Lonavla, hmm. he calls Wazir Bagh. His home is called Wazir Bagh because he hails from Wazir Bagh, Sri Nagar, uh-huh. in Kashmir. Sorry, not Sri Nagar. Uh, Wazir Bagh in Kashmir. Uh-huh. So he's called his little farmhouse as Wazir Bagh there. So he's like, "Ye Wazir Bagh jana hoga." I said, "Ye kahan hai?" Wow, yeah, like, Wazir Bagh jana hoga. Uh-huh. And he's like this emperor there. You know, <laughs> he like you you go there. He has eleven dogs. Okay. And there are only four family members. Uh-huh. and there are some 35 staff members there so he's like this emperor who goes on a morning walk with 10 people walking behind him and security and all of that uh, so i was kind of intimidated Shad. by him <laughs> yeah and and also because you've heard legends of mm. viduvino chopra of his mm. of of him sort of completely you know being temperamental if i have to Haan. put it put it that way bhai artist hai ha but unki so, legends hain unki legends hain and i was like ki theek hai bulaya to mil lete hain So then he told me that he's producing a film. Huh. It's based on this book, and I want you to read the book. So I called him first and said that you have to take two days' clothes. Okay. You'll have to stay there. Huh. And I'm like, okay. I mean, this is not the first time I've done anything. We are going to meet and come back. And then he put me up at his place and he asked me to read the book at my own pace. Okay. And then he put me up at his place and he asked me to read the book at my own pace. And while reading the book, a lot happened in that one night. I found bits of my own life. I found bits of my own father's life, which I had only heard. Hmm. Uh, I wept a lot. I think I finished reading the book at around 4:30 in the morning. My meeting with Vinod sir was at 11 a.m. next day. I didn't sleep. I only slept, I think, for a couple of hours. And that was when I immediately recognized a tremendous potential in this book to be adapted into a film. and that's how the journey started and but you didn't know kaun sa role milne wala hai us book mein nahi that you was knew. clear that was clear he told me ki manoj ka kirdar hai uh, we are looking at uh, you hmm. for that hmm. and us time tak it was only vinod sir had written it and he was producing it hmm. next morning when i met him at 11 am so he's like ki kaisi lagi i said sir kuch bhi ho main ye film karna chahta hu then i shared ki what i felt throughout hmm. the night I shared my own personal life anecdotes, and then he's like, "He challenge ye ki ki tu unnis saal ka kaise lagega?" Hmm. He's a very straightforward man, very straightforward, never minces words, and that's probably one of the reasons why people just sort of think he's a intimidated, taskmaster, intimidated huh? because huh? he speak, he wears his heart on his sleeve. ठीक. And uh, he's like, "He kaise lagega tu?" मैंने तेरा ज़्यादा कुछ देखा नहीं है. Hmm. मैंने एक ही फिल्म देखी है तेरी डेथ इन द गंज देखी थी yeah. मेरी बीवी बेटा तारीफ करती है तेरा और तूने कोई एक सीरीज बनाई थी मिर्जापुर नाम की वो एक दो एपिसोड देखे बड़ा ही बेकार में देख नहीं पाया वो मतलब इतने स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड है सिंगल पर्सन ऑन दिस प्लान फॉर मिर्जापुर यार ये तो पूरा देश मुझे बबलू भैया बबलू भैया बोल रहा है यहाँ पे तो मतलब मिर्जापुर इज अ रेज एंड ही लाइक मैं दो एपिसोड से ज्यादा देख नहीं पाया सो दैट इज हाउ ही इज सो यू आस्ट मी अप फ्रंट कि उन्नीस साल का कैसे लगेगा तो आई गॉट इन टू अ पॉस्चर टू शो हिम कि वॉट अ नाइनटीन ईयर ओल्ड बॉय वो जो ओपनिंग सीन है फिल्म का आपने देखी है आप देखिएगा जरूर इट्स इट्स अ वेरी गुड फिल्म हैंग लूज हाँ जस्ट जस्ट वो एक निम्बलनेस जो होती है यू नो तो आई टुक दैट पॉस्चर एंड दैट इज वेन ही ऑल्सो डिसाइडेड दैट ओके आई थिंक आई वॉन्ट टू डायरेक्ट दिस बॉय एंड देन दैट्स हाउ द जर्नी स्टार्ट Okay, yeah. and when when you wanted, you said that I told him what I felt at night, uh, and you saw a lot of you, your yeah. father. Yeah. Uh, what was that? That was that a uh, middle class Indian? Because 
you seem to fit that role so easily <laughs> whichever film you pick yeah. up yeah. Uh, and i mean that as a compliment Thank is you. that i take it as a compliment yeah, it is a compliment yeah it's the largest chunk in our yes. country yeah. uh, of that of that small town there guy. is a lot of pride in a very a genuine pride in being a middle class guy that is exactly the reason why i still maintain my lifestyle as such hmm. i take immense pride in being the backbone of this country if i can say one of one of yeah. you know just one person out of millions of hmm. middle class people hmm. and isliye jaan ke humne maine bhi bahut koshish ki hai ki wo jo ek middle class value system hai wo everything is transient in life i i started working very young i know success and failures all of it will come and go at the same time mm. so what do you keep with you and what do you pass on to your next generation so i think it's the value system so i i've kept that very close to my heart and i hope i can continue to do that but there are many who want to when they come to this city they come in search of that that glitz that glamour and they want to shed that that middle class uh, those, those chains some of them will also call it shackles because it pulls you back it tells you are feet on the ground be real real means not having everything and knowing that it can go any time that insecurity of middle class life i mean i think i think it's a boon isn't it is it like there you is tell the, me. the answer is in your question itself to be that, to be that's grounded because, that's because you and i have the same set yes, of values yes. and i value that yeah. but i'm asking you because you would have met people who i have met people at yeah, least you I'm would have sure. also met people sure. who don't want to be reminded of their middle class background because it pulls you down for maybe some for end. specific reasons i mean mm. you know maybe it to- totally depends on you know each one's experiences you know some people don't want to look back at certain aspects of their life because it sort of pulls them down or it's yeah. it's it's not a fond memory but uh, as i said the mm. answer is within your question itself that it keeps you grounded ha huh. knowing the fact that everything else success or failure or adoration or or you know this uh especially with with the world of cinema or sports or politics in our country there is this demigod kind of a larger than life stature which huh. uh people get but it's transient in nature and that is the absolute truth but it's very early for you in life to feel that that you've already figured it out that it's transient no i'm happy i did ha huh. i'm very happy i did because uh because that is the nature of life it's been it's been this way before me it it still is and it will always be is that why you way. took to the film immediately because you could you could see the parallels in that yeah one mm-hmm. of the major reasons why i said yes to this film is mm. is because of the gumption that a common man has especially in india especially indian common man and when i say common man i i don't make it gender no, specific of I course i get it yeah uh, we ha- we have survived we have tremendous and bes- like i would also just not want to narrow it down to a middle class person i would say indians overall even in terms of modern history agar hum 500 saal ki history dekh le we've survived haven't we hmm. we've been trampled upon we've been challenged from time to time but we we've, we've risen from the ashes like phoenix we hmm. have this incredible survival instinct within दो दो वी आर नॉट अ परफेक्ट फैमिली इफ यू टॉक ऑफ इंडिया वी आर नॉट अ परफेक्ट फैमिली हमारे हर घर में जैसे अनबन होती रहती है बट वी कम टूगेदर वेन इट्स नीडेड एट मोस्ट एंड दैट दैट सर्वाइवल इंस्टिंक्ट इज इज आई थिंक सो और आई वुड वॉन्ट टू बिलीव दैट आई हैव दैट सर्वाइवल इंस्टिंक्ट विद इन सो वेन दिन दिस फिल्म और इन दी अर्लियर फिल्म यू नो यू you play this film of course the lead character yeah. but in the earlier films that you've played significant roles you make that impact um does the success or failure of that film that friday matter to you and did this film's friday matter to you every film's friday matters to you because by the end of it the nature of our profession is as such that your success or your failure is dependent on other people hmm what what they feel about what you have done or what you have given them entertainment and especially movies in india they are a part of our staple culture hmm. for an average middle class man taking his family once a month to a movie theater is an event it's a bloody expensive yeah. proposition N- these because days because of multiplexes now yeah. now and also because of yeah. inflation of course you know yeah. that that goes hand in hand yeah 
तो हमारा सब कुछ लोगों पे ही डिपेंडेंट है सो इट इट बेटर मैटर इज टू वॉट पीपल थिंक अबाउट वॉट यू डन एंड एंड यू नीड टू यू नीड टू हैव द स्ट्रेंथ विद इन टू टेक कंस्ट्रक्टिव क्रिटिसिजम एज वेल बिकॉज यू विल नॉट ऑलवेज लैंड एज एज वॉट यू एस्पायर टू डू और अकॉर्डिंग टू योर इमेजिनेशन एंड ऑल्सो बिकॉज ऑफ सोशल मीडिया यू हैव इंस्टेंट फीडबैक देर देर आर पीपल ऑन सोशल मीडिया दे वो अभी तो ऐसा हो गया ना कई रिव्यूअर्स भी करते हैं वो वो पिक्चर देखते देखते रिव्यू करने लग जाते हैं Uh, which i don't subscribe to i think it's bullshit huh. you know they shouldn't do that do you read it at all i yeah. read all reviews ha huh. okay. all possible reviews really read watch listen yeah it matters to me it really really but how how many of them do i take seriously ha huh. a handful but okay. i really want to know i i i read tweets as well where i am tagged by people it's very important for me to know what is my work reaching out to people the way i intended to and how will i know that if it's not if, if it's, it's if not misreading it if will you change because of tweets no you won't right i mean depends hmm. it totally depends you know uh, there are moments or there have been times when uh, my films haven't been up to the mark hmm. and i i i concede to the fact that it was a bad film uh, on paper for example there are scripts which are excellent on paper but by the time you end up sort of converting them yeah that thing on paper to screen sure it it does not come out that way yeah and so you have to concede you have to see you have to call a spade a spade but like in a if you're a part of a big ensemble hmm. then it's not really riding on just your shoulders you know so even if the movie didn't go well i'm guessing that when you sit back on a friday saturday sunday by monday you have to get back to work but yeah. you know over the weekend yeah. you'll think ki ha theek hai itne sare log the kisi ne theek nahi kiya maybe you know the outfits were not right maybe the casting was not good or whatever but like in this film hmm. the whole film is literally riding on you of course it's a vidhu vinod chopra yes. so and Uh, meticulously planned out yeah. and everything yeah. right yeah. but the film rides on your shoulders it's a huge responsibility isn't it it is mm. it is but we we also had a tremendous support cast mm. every single person who's been a part of this film including technicians they were avant-garde technicians actors yeah yeah some of the best we have okay so whether it is rangarajan ramabhadran who who was the dop of our film huh. he's done some fabulous work okay and he's he's I'm I'm sure he's one of the best technicians we have with regards to the sound team with regards to the supporting actors who were a part of our film mm. I think everyone's everyone is here because they deserve it mm. and uh, mm. that is how I think we've come together So in the in the film it's all about uh, you But but answering answering the the initial yeah. part of your question uh, it's 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 riding on to you but I think uh, I as a person tend to perform better under pressure <laughs> that is how i have always been and that huh. that maybe is my comfort zone like maybe even when i used to i played a lot of sport huh. and i have kind of taken that sportsman's discipline even in the work that i do uh so i think i perform better under pressure and one of the one of the reasons i think i do it is because i'm not able to detach myself from the sports ethics which i have retained so you know deeply within me i okay. rehearse a lot i rehearse okay. a lot i i i cannot go on set or or i cannot i am absolutely uncomfortable on a shooting set when people are just set pe baith ke line likh rahe hain you know hmm. shooting ha dekh lenge aaj nahi karte hain kal karte hain i don't do these kind of films i do hmm. low budget or mid budget films hmm. so you all you have to do on a set is go and execute and find your best shot hmm. so you have to prepare a month in advance before shoot so that is my nature of work but lastly i would want to answer this thing you know how how do you understand or how do you gauge or probably find a balance as to with tweets or with reviews or feedbacks mm. which we mm. were talking earlier i think you yourself understand what what's the right balance i don't know how to put it you know wo pata chal jata hai film banate banate hmm. ki are we heading the right way ya fir kai bar constructive criticism hai ya fir ye vitriolic criticism hai ya fir okay these people have not got it have they got it wo khud ko kahin na kahin na pata chal jata hai so you yeah. 
so you and i think most people can gauge it themselves so you have to be true to yourself you know that's like i spoke with an actress hmm. uh, recently and uh, you know I, i was telling her that uh, oh now that you're getting married this is what are the com- comments that are going to come your way uh, so pehle bhi aapko aise comments aate the ab to zyada aayenge she said i don't read the comments so i said no you don't so she said no no that pehle se hi because otherwise i won't be able to eat a single morsel you get it a, a women yeah. get a lot of word how they look yeah. so after which so when i was researching on your interviews and i saw one or two in which a lot of thinking yaar he should have got an award for death in the gut yaar he should have got an award for this and then i realized that i hadn't seen a quite a few of your movies which okay. they were saying that you should have got an award for so kind because of those films uh, didn't uh, didn't really become those big hits yeah. and uh, there were very nice uh, comments which were yeah. there in uh, in that the, you know telling the interviewer tumne iske bare mein kyun nahi pucha of course <laughs> everybody has a view right in the ji, comment section ji, ji. Ki, Yeah, I mean, even in this, I'm sure it'll be. Why didn't you ask him about this film? Aye, aye, aye. I can't go into 30, 40 films <laughs> and ask about every film of Jee. yours. But uh, some of the things uh, which I picked up from the other, the comments on the other interviews that Jee. you did was about Death in the Gunch. A lot yeah. of people have said yeah. that it was a small movie and it didn't yeah. get the kind of exposure that it deserved. I think it did. Uh, that's that's. Wo ek thodi si misunderstanding. I think it did. Okay. Uh, had that been the case konkana uh, the director of the film or seven members we 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 won seven film fair awards hmm. we were nominated for 11 categories and out of 11 we won seven film fair awards and film fair and many other awards too okay. you know it was highly highly appreciated by people it was not a mass film it did not have a mass release like 1000 1500 screens mein jo aam taur pe hota hai wo nahi tha it had a 400 screen release but again because of word of mouth uh, it did it did do really well what matters more for you if if you were to choose i'm sure mm. you can't uh, it's not fair you would want everything which Jee. is a box office a big box office success or that critical acclaim of a few people but people who you felt you wanted to reach out to and you got through i think uh, the latter because that is but i think hmm. the lines are also getting blurred hmm. and the best case study in this case is 12th fail hmm. we set out wanting to make a film based on two people's life uh really inspiring people and kyunki hame ye pata tha ki ye hamare desh ke hazaron logon ki kahani hai yeah so let's just go out there make a film about these two people who like we we've also said this thing you know it's based on a true story but inspired by a million true stories yeah so let's go out there justify their life in the most sincere way we can if it is a good film it will make money and even we've been talking about small films you mm. know big films I I don't understand that concept. Not all big films are good films. Sure. The idea is to have a good film, to have a film which has a certain sense of an archival value. That is success for me. But if the money keeps rolling with good content, why not? Yeah, sure. But if it does not make money, have I through my art or through my work reached out to people or given them strength, hope? or represented them or been the voice of the voiceless through my work that is what matters the most to me because by the end of it yes it is business but i still see it as an art form and a very influential art form in our country a world over other but um when you were making this film uh, did you look back in your student days i mean at least i would think that yeah. at least 20% of my class wanted to take the upsc exam yeah. my parents wanted me to take the upsc exam it was it was the done thing because yeah. there weren't many career options yeah. in my my time uh, you're much younger uh, did did your parents want you to take the upsc exam did you want to take the upsc exam i unfortunately had no idea about upsc until class 9th no ha ah, class 9 theek hai okay i am not kidding and you will be surprised there are only pockets in mumbai ha huh. it's it's a cosmopolitan city i would say majority of the people here work in uh, private, private sector business, yeah. private sector and up north or central india or yeah. down south 
स्पेशली और वो घर के माहौल पे भी डिपेंड करता है राइट right? कि आपके परिवार से अगर हाँ. कोई सिविल सर्विसेज में है तो वो घर का माहौल होता है वो चर्चा होती है तो आपको वो इन्फॉर्मेशन आपके बड़ों से मिल जाती है हाँ. मेरे घर में सारे प्राइवेट सेक्टर में थे एंड नो बडी इन माई फैमिली वॉज इन द सिविल सर्विसेज एंड इन इन मुंबई देर आर पॉकेट्स मतलब अगर आप विले uh, पार्ले चले जाओगे तो आपको वहाँ मिलेगा अगर आप थोड़ा सा मतलब साइंस साइड चले जाओगे तो वहाँ मिलेगा बट अदरवाइज यहाँ पे यूपीएससी का अनफॉर्चुनेटली आई कंसीड इट्स इट्स रियली अनफॉर्चुनेट दैट नॉट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल नो दिस एक्चुअली देर आर मेनी एक्टर्स हु हैव इंटरव्यूड जो घर से निकले थे माँ बाप को कह के कि यू का एग्जाम लेने हम जा रहे हैं दिल्ली कोचिंग सेंटर और कोचिंग वोचिंग कुछ नहीं किया उसके बाद एन चले गए उसके बाद बॉम्बे आ गए दे बिकेम एक्टर्स एंड देन यू नो लाइक द पेरेंट्स लाइक हाँ यहाँ पहुँच गए तो हम यू नो बट मैंने बहुत बाद में बताया जब मुझे पता चला ना इस बारे में तो मैंने जाके देखा कि यार ये बड़ी देर हो गई मुझे तो काफ़ी देर हो गई थी मुझे एंड आई ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड वर्किंग बाय द टाइम आई वाज इन माय फर्स्ट ईयर जूनियर कॉलेज जो दिल्ली में इलेवेंथ होता है वो हमारा कॉलेज होता है कॉलेज यहाँ पे तो या बट इट्स इट्स अ माइंड सेट ऑल्सो यू नो दैट बिकॉज इट्स अ बी ऑल एंड एंड ऑल एंड अगर आपने क्लियर नहीं किया फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट में सेकेंड अटैम्प्ट में इट्स हार्ट ब्रेकिंग इट्स क्रशिंग सोल क्रशिंग सोल क्रशिंग यू नो एंड देन वंस दे गेट इन टू सर्विस देन वॉट हैपन्स इज जिसके साथ आपने बी ए किया है वो फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट में क्लियर कर गया वो आपसे दो साल सीनियर हो गया एंड यूर स्टिल यू नो इवन दो यूर द सेम वो एंड इट्स दैट वन एग्जाम दैट यू क्लियर यू नो सो इट्स इट्स क्वाइट यू नो इट्स इट्स अ चेस गेम फ्रेंक इट इज यूरो इट इज एंड इट्स द सेकेंड मोस्ट इट्स द सेकेंड टफेस्ट एग्जाम इन द वर्ल्ड अभी थोड़े दिन पहले ही आई वॉज सिटिंग विद अ वेरी जो वेरी सीनियर जर्नलिस्ट मिस्टर राहुल कंवल हम बैठे हुए थे साथ में हम बात कर रहे थे एंड ही ब्रॉट आउट स्टेटिस्टिक्स कंपेयरिंग हार्वर्ड एंड यू पी एस सी एग्जाम्स सो इट्स ईजियर टू गेट इन टू हार्वर्ड दैन टू क्रैक अ यू पी एस सी एग्जाम द पासिंग परसेंटेज इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वॉज जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स परसेंट फॉर यू पी एस सी वेर इज द एडमिशन रेट्स इन हार्वर्ड विद जस्ट अब थ्री परसेंट and so it's it's difficult but yeah. then that's the beauty of it right i mean i see it in a very positive way i think jab aapko desh chalana hai agar aapko ek wo purza banna hai is is itne mahan aur itne bade desh ko chalane ka to wo aapke ke andar wo capability solutions lana problem solving capability ek basic general yeah. aptitude to aapke andar hona hi chahiye so um when you how do you prep firstly for an uh, for this kind of a role ji which is a, a life that is completely different from yours same way as you would have uh, i mean the character that you played in say mirzapur that's Ji. also a completely different Comple- role that is completely different even made in uh, made heaven. in heaven that's also Ji. not you uh, to Ji. prepare this you have to get into a character Ji. how do you prepare what is the method that you use मैम एक्चुअली देर इज नो वन मेथड पर से इट टोटली डिपेंड्स यू नो आई डोंट हैव एन आंसर टू दैट मुझे बहुत लोग पूछते हैं कि आपका मेथड mm. क्या है uh, लगभग 20 साल हो गए हैं मुझे प्रोफेशनली काम करते करते बट मेरे पास जवाब नहीं बट एक चीज़ मुझे ये पता है कि रेजिडेंस इज वॉट आई एम लुकिंग फॉर वट एवर पार्ट आई एम प्लेइंग इवन द एग्जाम्पल्स दैट यू गिव लाइक मिर्जापुर इट्स फार ऑफ फ्रॉम वॉट माई रियल पर्सनैलिटी uh but then you research you read i read a lot i i'm not a trained actor hmm. so most of my execution is based on my personal observations hmm. and uh, resonance is my key you know i i want people to resonate with the parts that i play i want people to see bits of either themselves or people they know of in the characters that i play Like for example, if you're walking, गाँव में आपको चलने के लिए बोला हुआ जी यू आर अ सिटी बॉय जी यू वॉक इन अ पर्टिकुलर मैनर यू डोंट सो वॉट वे विल यू ब्रिंग दैट फ्रॉम लाइक दे इज नो मेमरी इन योर द रिसेस ऑफ योर माइंड कि हाँ ऐसे वो गाँव में ऐसे चलते हैं यू नो गोइंग टू द पिंड में जैसे चलते हैं यू नो दिज अज अ विलेजर वॉक दिज अलेजर लाउंज नियर अ वेल पीपल के पेड़ के नीचे वो दोपहर की नींद के दौरान वो नहीं होता लाइक आई आई वुड थिंक इट रिक्वायर्स अ लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल सैफ खान वुड नॉट नो 
but then when you see him in omkara omkara no, all those films yeah. like he you know it's he's he's there he's there how did he do it that is the brilliance yeah. it's the same with you you're a city guy Ji. but you you get i think my him. observations and my inkling towards learning has really helped ha huh. uh, i am constantly you know reading or probably just having a chat with my friends or people in general about life hmm. or probably different cultures that's that's i am sort of mera rujhan hai in sari cheezon mein ha i think i think it the seed the common seed if i am i don't know if this is this qualifies as an answer uh, the common seed in all the characters is that resonance to hai hi hmm. uh, the common seed is is to represent them hmm if i can if i can sort of does it stay with you like did the character of uh, that you played in mirzapur stay with you and do you want to just take it out of your system in the movies some over some characters you really want to just tear them apart and throw them because they do stay with you huh. like what what i did in a death in the ganj really disturbed me hmm. and that was the first time and also because simultaneously around uh, 2016 2017 people were talking a lot about mental health hmm. and it was out in the public domain there were, there were far more conversations happening about mental health and that was the first time after filming that film i started taking therapy because i felt i needed to talk to someone a hmm. parents ko apni chinta batate hain to wo khud chinta leke baith jate hain <laughs> so you really cannot share all these things hmm. with them because it was a very dark film it hmm. pushed me to certain dark darker corners uh, even with uh, manoj manoj kumar sharma that i hmm. have done there were moments when vinod sir would call a cut hmm. and i would continue weeping even after the cut is called because i just i just could not control myself to kai bar hota hai kai bar aap characters apne ghar le aate hain aur kai bar aap bilkul connect nahi kar pate hain even while making the film so i mean it's it's a mix bag of uh, so many things yeah, yeah. like i've seen uh, i've heard interviews some i've spoken with when they they play the role of say a drug addict or or a man who's uh, who's victimized a woman you know mm. it's not in his nature to be cruel to a woman but he's he's had to perform a rape scene on the something it disturbs you yeah. because you've gone off your yeah, character absolutely. and you've taken that dark route yeah. to some they switch off like that yeah. and some it's not possible sure. so uh, does it do these kind of films just rip you apart or is that the creative process that you want that to happen i mean it, to each their own i think it totally depends from actor to actor and to you you want that experience uh maybe maybe because i'm i i think that is where authenticity lies you want you want to give an authentic performance like for example i i did a film called lipstick under my burqa yeah it was a female centric film around four women mm. i played a character who was representing the society and that character was way far off from my own real life but do i do i recognize with people like arshad in the film of course i do because i have seen many people like him around mm. uh so you end up representing something from a society which may not be necessarily you hmm. but you need to at least have a basic knowledge or conviction how to play that part hmm. uh and then it the degree completely depends you know hmm. i i i am not a upsc aspirant i have never been hmm. as i said i never knew about that world or or how tedious or how daunting that world is but i could equate those struggles with my struggles mm. and i think i think the nature of struggle aspiration hope uh, freedom it kind of remains the same mm. you know yeah it it kind of remains nature the same is, the nature yeah. of it remains the same the experiences could differ yeah so if there is someone in china for example who who is hopeful of a better life but with completely different cultural backgrounds or experiences can definitely imagine or feel elated when they when they triumph so hmm. the feeling of that would be the same hmm. 
तो वो सारी चीजें डिग्री योर स्ट्रगल्स विक्रांत आई मीन उट that happens in yeah. in the film industry yeah. Yeah. so you are a rank outsider ji uh, so things weren't smooth they weren't smooth uh, see no 16 year old boy wants to step out hmm. to work at an age wherein you should be playing in a playground hmm. you know my friends would i i would get off my building i there was a playground right in front of my entrance and exit i would see my friends playing there and it would really hurt me because i wanted to be playing on the ground but i had to step out for certain you know financial conditions uh but having said that uh, why i said romanticize is because i also realized very early that s- there's always someone who's had it worse when i started acting i met so many people who would come from north india jo apni kothiyan chhod ke aaye the if you act wo yahan pe 6 6 logon ke sath zameen pe gadde bichha ke so rahe hain छह लोग एक कॉमन बाथरूम यूज कर रहे हैं मैगी खा के जी रहे हैं आई हैड अ होम हियर इन बॉम्बे मैं भले चाहे जैसा भी था जमीन पे सोना होता था लेकिन माँ के हाथ के पराठे तो मिलते थे तो मेरे कुछ चीजों में प्रिविलेज थे तो अब मुझे नाउ इन रेट्रोस्पेक्ट आई एम टॉकिंग मतलब उस टाइम पे तो लगता था कि यार बहुत स्ट्रगल है हमारे बट आई आई हैड माई फेयर शेयर ऑफ स्ट्रगल आई थिंक इट्स इट्स दिस इज अ वेरी चैलेंजिंग इंडस्ट्री Hmm. it is as i said you know sports cricket if i have to narrow it down cricket politics and bollywood i think these are the three most popular professions in our country yeah and uh, it's there in every field it's there in we are, since we're talking about upsc it's there in the civil service even also. in the civil services yes it's there in journalism also somebody will give you a story because you're connected your father uncle whatever was secretary joint secretary additional secretary वहाँ से कनेक्शन हैं बट फिल्म इंडस्ट्री कम्स इन टू फोकस बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्लैमर बिकॉज एवरीथिंग इज लार्जर देन लाइफ एंड देर इज ऑल्सो मिसकनसेप्शन अबाउट हैविंग इट ईजी हेयर बट दैट इज नॉट द केस आई थिंक आई थिंक इट इज इट इज अ वेरी डेमोक्रेटिक कम्युनिटी हाँ यू डिट से आई एम गोइंग टू रीड आउट वन ऑफ योर कोट्स विच आई फाउंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इन विच यू से आई थिंक इट इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डेमोक्रेटिक रोबास्ट प्रोग्रेसिव कम्युनिटीज कम्युनिटी आई वोट कॉल इट अ फैमिली दो because uh, it is not a family you think i'm not going to ask you to explain no, I'm, I'm, this no, because i i stand by it and i i okay. was going to repeat the same thing in fact i'm yeah. glad you sort of made it easier for me so i can mm. almost say it verbatim yeah. it is very democratic it is very robust uh, it is a very progressive community but it is not a family i mean uh, it is a competitive industry mm. you know you might you might not be uh, wishing ill either but you're not also wishing the best for the other person because you really want to take the other person's place yeah if i am to sort of put it up very briefly and honestly uh there are thousands of actors who want to take my part uh do they really wish well for me or am i irreplaceable no i mean if i break a leg somebody else is going to come and take my place and start shooting in the next four days Mm-hmm. and that is how competitive it is uh but it is a very robust community i think i think it's it's also very progressive um uh, it and as as the old adage goes you know cinema and society they kind of represent each other it's it's been a catalyst in sort of a lot of good things as well the world of cinema mm. and uh, it's also a place where i think caste and religion didn't matter never in uh, never from the very beginning from the very know? beginning मैं थोड़े कुछ महीनों पहले ही बैठ के मैं किसी से मैम बात कर रहा था कि एक शूटिंग सेट पे कौन कौन सी जात का है धर्म का है उसकी ओरिएंटेशन क्या है वो किस बैकग्राउंड से आता है वो गांव से आता है शहर से आता है एक्चुअली मैटर नहीं करता इज दैट बॉम्बे और इज दैट द बॉम्बे फिल्म इंडस्ट्री और इज इट बोथ आई थिंक इट का काइंड ऑफ इंटरटवाइंस it kind i think it's bombay as well but also the bombay film industry hmm. i think so it's a beautiful question i think now that i think of it 
आई थिंक इट इज द बॉम्बे फिल्म इंडस्ट्री कमिंग टूगेदर तो वो है यहाँ पे और इट्स ब्यूटिफुल इट इज एब्सोल्यूटली ब्यूटिफुल इट डेंट मैटर वॉट योर सर नेम वॉज इट डेंट नो बडी आस नो बडी आस वंस यूर इन फ्रंट ऑफ द कैमरा इट डजेंट मैटर वॉट यू पुट आउट देर इज वॉट इज वॉट मैटर एंड दैट कैन हार्ट वार्मिंग इट इज ब्यूटिफुल आई नो सो मेनी पीपल मैं नाम नहीं लूंगा वो बहुत बड़े टेक्नीशियन है वो छत्तीसगढ़ से आए थे नाइन्टीज में वो लाइट मैन का काम करते थे टूडे ही इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट टेक्नीशियंस इन द कंट्री उन्होंने पढ़ाई लिखाई नहीं की है बट उन्होंने उनके काम का जज्बा देख के उनकी क्रिएटिव प्रोसेस को देख के उनकी क्रिएटिव केपेबिलिटी देख के आज वो यहाँ बैठे हुए हैं एंड मैं अपनी ही अगर बात करूँ मैं दूसरों की क्यों बात करूँ मैं अगर अपनी ही बात करूँ मैं ट्रेंड एक्टर नहीं हूँ इट इज़ अ मेरिट बेस्ड इंस्टीट्यूशन इफ आई एम टू जस्ट सॉर्ट ऑफ सम इट अप वेरी ब्रीफली लोग नेपोटिज्म की बहुत बात करते हैं यहाँ पे है पर हर जगह है मैं लोगों से ये भी कहता हूँ कि चांदनी चौक में जो अपना गला लगा के बैठा है वो भी तो अपने बेटे को ही बिठा के जाएगा ना वो सबसे योग्य इंसान को तो नहीं ढूंढ रहा है कि चांदनी चौक में सबसे योग्य कौन है वही मेरी दुकान पे आ ना बट यहाँ पे इट गोज अ स्टेप फर्दर इन इन दैट इन द नेपोटिज्म वर्ल्ड आई मीन देर आर क्रोर्स इन्वॉल्व राइट वो डॉक्टर अपने बेटे को बिठाता है दैट्स अ डिफरेंट मैटर इट डजेंट रियली हर्ट दी अदर गाय वेन यू गो टू गेट अ सर्जरी डन इट डजेंट मैटर यू गो टू गेट द गो टू गेट द सर्जरी डन बट हियर यू यू डोंट अलाउ द फिल्म ऑफ समी कैच तो हर जगह है मैम कैच तो हर जगह है अब वो सर्जन कैसे सर्जन बनाए उसके भी पचास तरीके हो सकते हैं तो ये सीटों के बारे में तो और वो पता ही है सबको हाँ डोनेशन सीट राइट कितने की बोली लग रही है वो आपके लॉ में भी है आपके मेडिकल फील्ड में भी है आपके पुलिस सर्विसेज में भी है बट जनरलाइज नहीं करते हैं मतलब वो बहुत ही कम परसेंटेज के ही लोग हैं फिल्म ऑफ अ राइवल टू बी रिलीज बिकॉज एक्स सन फिल्म इज गोइंग टू बी रिलीज दैट फ्राइडे ये भी तो होता है यहाँ पे लकी आई एम नॉट प्रिवी टू दैट होता है हाँ बट आई एम स्टिल नॉट येट प्रिवी टू दैट सो आई के नॉट टॉक ऑन दैट मुझे वो नहीं पता है क्योंकि मैं आज भी मेरे सिर्फ एक ही पैर अंदर है अभी तक मुझे ट्रेन के अंदर दूसरा पैर डालना बाकी है इसीलिए कंसिस्टेंसी फॉर मी राइट नाउ इज वेरी यू स्टिल नॉट डूइंग दोज काइंड ऑफ फिल्म विच इन्वॉल्व ऑल दीज अदर फैसेट लाइक यू नॉट यू आर नॉट ऑन द एयरपोर्ट लुक क्राउड यू आर नॉट इन दॉड ऑफ हार्ड वर्क मैम बहुत मेहनत है <laughs> एक तो मुझे दिन के 24 घंटे वैसे ही कम लगते हैं <laughs> सुबह पाँच बजे उठ के मेकअप लगा के जाना बाल बना के जाना मुझसे तो कतई नहीं हो पाएगा <laughs> मुझसे okay. होता ही नहीं आप मुझे देख लीजिए ना मैं मुझे मुझे अभी मैं घर से जब निकल रहा था माय वाइफ उज लाइक कि कहाँ जा रहे हो आई सेट कि मैं जा रहा हूँ स्मिता मैम के साथ इंटरव्यू शी लाइक तुम ऐसे जा रहे हो आई सेट तो कैसे जाऊँ <laughs> शी लाइक ढंग के कपड़े पहन लो आई सेट यार ये ढंग के ढंग के ये ऐसे ही ऐसे ही तो रहता है एक नॉर्मल इंसान बहुत मेहनत है एंड एंड इसका भी जवाब में ना आई सॉर्ट ऑफ ट्राई मिक्सिंग बोथ द थिंग्स लास्टली आई वॉन्ट टू फिनिश ऑफ द प्रीवियस बेट इज इट इज अ मेरिट बेस्ड थिंग अगर मैं अपनी ही बात करूं हुँ. तो आप चाहे किसी के भी बेटे हों और बहुत बेटे आए हैं बहुत बेटियां आई बहुत अपॉर्चुनिटीज मिली पर अगर आप काम में अच्छे नहीं हैं इफ यू आर नॉट गुड एट वॉट यू डू ही और शी विल बी शोन द डोर इन दिस इंडस्ट्री एंड दैट इज द एब्सल्यूट ट्रूथ You know, you were mentioning earlier this uh, lipstick under my burqa, Jee. and uh, you even acted in Chapak. Jee. You've Jee. acted in uh, films where they are women-oriented films. Uh, it's a very progressive way of looking at it, right? It, it, look at look at what films were made ten years yeah. ago, and the advice that actors, male actors, would get. Are you female-oriented film? Me, ni karna. Then you'll be finished. You'll always be a sidekick. Uh, you know, so. Yeah. एक तो फिल्म विमेन ओरिएंटेड फिल्म्स बनती नहीं थी और जब बनती थी तो फिर वो डर लगा रहता था दैट यूड बी टाइप कास्ट बट यू बीन ब्रेव यू एक्टेड नो बडी एडवाइज यू और यू जस्ट लाइक डिसाइज बट आई इतना सोच के नहीं करता मैं काम मैम दिल से जो अंदर से आवाज आती है वो मैं वही करता हूँ एंड समबडी हैज टू प्ले दोज पार्ट लाइक अभी मैं जो कैरेक्टर में बताया लिपस्टिक अंड माई बुरखा का सोसाइटी में ऐसे लोग हैं हाँ. तो 
उनको भी तो रिप्रेजेंट करना जरूरी है राइट वो चाहे रोल कितना भी बड़ा या छोटा क्यों ना हो दो इट इज अमेन सेंट्रिक फिल्म लाइक दी समी हैज टू प्ले दी एंटेगनिस्ट टू ड्राइव द स्टोरी फॉरवर्ड आई ऑलवेज सॉ दो ऑपरचुनिटीज और दो चैलेंजेस एज एन ऑपरचुनिटी टू शो केस एंड ऑल्सो बिकॉज समन लाइक मी इज कॉन्स्टेंटली ऑडिशनिंग ना वेन आई मीन ऑडिशनिंग इट माइट नॉट बी इन एन ऑडिशन रूम फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ ट्वेल्थ फेल टूडे is in so many ways still an audition tape for me for bigger makers to see me because i want to work with them mm. am i making sense yes sir absolutely yeah. who are the makers that you want to i mean there are so many of them like mm. i have been very lucky that i've got a chance to work with some of the best already in my career so far mm. it's just a 10 year career i have worked with some of the best but there are still so women many women directors also women directors i yeah. think and and uh, i'm extremely proud of that and uh, there are so many makers i want to work with hmm so i feel that you know okay if they've seen 12th fail maybe they will have faith in me to sort of work with me hmm uh, because it in so so many ways is my audition tape that this entire film is my audition tape so would you want to do those typical masala movies where you have to dance and romance and run around the trees and depends ma'am huh? if if that is a prerequisite for the story i will do it but then but then how you treat a film is also very very important mm. like for example a lot of people know that i am a professionally trained dancer chamak davar ji i ah. was an assistant instructor in his troupe people ask me ki aap itne saalon se kaam kar rahe hain aapne ab tak dance kyun nahi kiya film ah, mein ha correct yes right kyunki jo dance ki script hai mere paas aati hain wo aisi wali aati hain ki baat karte karte achanak se wo naachne lag gaye ha ah. i am a realist in life i would want i would I would want to believe that I'm a realist in life, and I would want to sort of keep things closer so to reality. So in your life, nobody dances or what? No, but like in our Delhi, you didn't go Ladakh to your wife. No, 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 no. You didn't do that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I mean hey maybe I'm kind of stuck up with those. I I don't know huh. you know too many do's and don'ts in your life Vikram No actually aisa nahi hai Ha uh, what I do not want to do I know very clearly Ha kaam ko leke khaas taur pe aur jeevan ko leke khaas taur pe mujhe pata hai ki kya nahi karna hai cutting the superfluous has always been my mantra in life hmm. and uh, cut the fluff you know wo fluff hai fluff ki zarurat nahi hai keep life simple you know keep it simple hmm. waise hi itna kuch chal raha hota hai jeevan mein Ha एंड बट कमिंग बैक टू द सॉन्ग एंड डांस मतलब मेरे कहने का मतलब यह था कि जो हम अर्ली नाइन्टीज या मिड नाइन्टीज में देखते थे कि शूट कर रहे हैं दिल्ली में और गाना अचानक से शूट हो रहे स्विट्जरलैंड स्विट्जरलैंड में लॉजिकल हाँ लॉजिक लॉजिक होना चाहिए चीज में लॉजिक आई गेट इट एंड दे इज लॉर्ड ऑफ फन दैट योर जेनरेशन पीपल मेक ऑफ इट बट फॉर आज आई मीन Uh, it was like okay you just magically gone there you just like <laughs> transform yeah, teleport today yeah. if somebody tells me na go to the movie hall and leave your brain behind me ka chhod ke aaun main brain nahi chhod sakti main you know ki brain chhod ke aa jao ab mere se nahi dekha nahin jata nahin. films which earlier i could and earlier i would say that that i would watch a chandni i would go and sit there and i would and i've gone to switzerland just to see the place wow. where yeah i have i know i was wow. that dumb that i <laughs> no gone. that's not dumb no That's that's fandom. Yeah, I yeah. guess. So I have gone to the street where Govinda danced with Karishma just to see that. मेरे दिमाग में वही चल रहा था actually, right? So, yeah. so I went out there and. Are you imagining Karishma in the blue dress? Yes, correct, right? Sure. To that generation, uh, to to many of us, it was that you wanted to escape. Yeah. And that was a beautiful and kind of thing. And entertainment is partial escapism. Yeah. That brief escapism. And. Yeah. and romance really it it uh, fa- frankly bachan sahab ruined romance for all of us you know Angry everybody him. wanted him to everybody wanted the boyfriend to do the silsila <laughs> you know you wanted that tulips you wanted yeah, yeah. you wanted that it, and you obviously जी, जी. none of us got that tulips it doesn't exist nahi karta na reality doesn't exist exactly. but your generation is so real you guys don't have imagination let me say this to you oh wow 
Do you feel that? There's no escapism because you bring yourself to reality so quickly. I think, I think so. Hmm. This is actually the first time I'm sort of thinking on these lines. Uh, lack of imagination could be. I could find. Be. when i speak with people of your generation mm-hmm. i just find that everything has to be so politically correct you have to be environment conscious you have to be politically right you can't you can't loosely use an effort yeah. here yeah. or a yeah. term there ki nahi ye casteist hai ye yeah. religion offend ho jayega ye Jee. fala cheez ho jayegi to is sab mein there is so much pressure on your yes. generation when i was your age i did not have that Yeah. I only needed next paycheck frankly yeah. that was my biggest task but awareness bhi hai na also because of the internet yes. the internet and i think it's a good change in so many ways ha uh, aware hain aaj i have i have two beautiful nieces okay they they are twins they are, they are 13 uh, they are far more aware about things than i was when i was 13 so thode din pehle unhone you know kuch kaha यू नो कपड़ों को लेके जब बचपन में हम कहते थे वो वर्ड कि यार मैं कैसे मैं मैंने कैसे कपड़े पहने मैं ऐसा लग रहा हूँ यार एंड उस एक के मुंह से निकल गया आई एम सो सॉरी आई शुड आई शुड सेट दिस आई एम सो सॉरी एंड आई जस्ट मतलब खुद ही बोला और खुद ही करेक्ट कर लिया अपने आप को उसने तो वो एक रिस्पॉन्सिबल बच्चे हैं तो अच्छा लगता है देख के और डर भी इस बात का इसीलिए क्योंकि कैंसल कल्चर भी हमारी दुनिया का एक बहुत अहम हिस्सा है खास तौर पे सोशल मीडिया पे एंड यू आर राइट इन द थिक ऑफ इट बिकॉज खास तौर पे जब आप जर्नलिज्म करते हैं yeah. तो वन सेंटेंस एक चीज आपने कह दी तो उसके लिए पर वो पहले भी होता था पर इतना नहीं इतना नहीं होता था हाँ इतना नहीं होता था क्योंकि एंड स्पेशली फॉर यू पीपल आई थिंक इन द बिकॉज योर एवरी सेंटेंस इज स्क्रूटनाइज विद सो मच फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस आई थिंक इवन अ नॉर्मल कॉमन मैन टूडे फॉर हिज और हर बिलीफ is cancelled uh, trolled yeah uh aur hairani hoti hai ki khaas taur pe jab aap social media pe jaate hain to padhe likhe trolls hain yeah jo uh, so called padhe likhe hain but harkatein unki wahi hai to cancel culture is also unfortunately yeah. sort of seeping in our lives i saw that it has an impact even on content which is put out yeah uh you you like yeah. like you're stifled yeah you're stifled. so this uh Karan Johar has just started his uh, new series and he began by saying this the new season he began by saying that there was so much of trolling in the earlier season yeah. and uh, that actors now don't want to say a lot which they had said in the earlier yeah. seasons yeah. because uh, the format of the show was like you let loose yeah. and you say yeah. loose comedy it was an easy lovely and, show you know yeah but there was a lot of uh, you know push back on that yeah. and as a result now everything is different yeah you know it's seen through a completely different <coughs> lens today yeah and uh, even i i think it's it's rubbed off on me as well i there are so many things that i would love to talk to you about yeah uh, but i can't because yeah. i know it there will be a major pushback yeah i am worried about the fact ki like off the record you and i can talk about anything there's so much that i want to sit with you and sort of learn from you because you 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 are a veteran okay and i'm i'm telling this to you your Thank your you. exposure in life and on ground exposure to general life jisse main vanchit hu main uske bare mein aap se janna chahta hu mere bhi char panch sawal hain lekin main wo on record nahi pooch sakta mm-hmm. kyun kyunki main agar wo karunga aur uska jawab aap keh denge log usko kis nazariye se dekhenge wo mujhe nahi pata yeah and that is an unfortunate reality yeah to uh to a large extent it it's also impacting on the mental health of many people of course it right is. uh when when the whole sushant singh rajput thing happened oh. and when riya got uh told so Imagine. much and and then you get to know it's literally like a media trial you yeah. know the whole thing i i i wasn't part of it i didn't take part in yeah. any debate on uh on sushant singh i didn't report on it i because it's not something which is up my street yeah. and i don't know and i refuse to be part of that but it really shocked me at that stage and there were so many takers for it yeah isn't that representative of a collective mindset yeah so many takers for it for 15 days चला तो 40-50 दिन वैसे बट हाँ. 15 दिन तो सबने मजे लिए आई मीन दैट इज वॉट वी आर दैट इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ आर रियालिटीज इट्स हार्ट ब्रेकिंग 
it's heartbreaking but there was also a silence from many people who could have spoken at that time who could have rallied ar- around bollywood doesn't behave like a unit somehow that's the reason i say i cannot call it a family mm. it is a community but it's not a family yeah yeah ab jaise years ago some of the biggest film actors and sporting actors got together for a campaign which spoke of communal harmony you know the black and white ad that i'm talking about mm. we had some of the greatest legends of our country across all ab agar main apne bachpan ki baat karu mile sur mera tumhara jo campaign tha yeah aaj kahan dekhne milta hai wo kya hame uski zarurat nahi hai aaj communal harmony ki hame zarurat nahi hai ek jhoot hone ki zarurat nahi hai wo tab bhi thi angrezon ke time pe bhi thi mughlon ke time pe bhi thi aaj bhi hai but people are scared yeah darte hain log but the, and even when there was that whole boycott phase yeah chup the koi bolne ko taiyar nahi hai and there were actors who said that when they got accused you are the people who boxed us in hmm. and that's why we don't want to speak out because if you speak then you're damned if you don't, don't speak don't speak exactly it's a double edged sword yeah. it's a catch 22 situation i yeah. was about to tell you that yeah jo kehta hai wo phasta hai jo nahi kehta to usko coward kehte hain hmm. i mean where do you go so then by the end of it what one does is which i sometimes think is the best way ignorance is bliss apna ghar parivar dekho i am a father to be hmm. my wife and i are expecting a first child congratulations thank you i am scared sometimes okay ki is this the kind of world that he or she is going to get hmm hum sabko to jana hi hai aaj nahi to kal chale jayenge unke liye kya chhod ke ja rahe hain ha to wo soch ke kabhi kabhi ghabrahat bhi hoti hai hmm but then uh, yehi hota hai na ki nahi yaar apna ghar dekho apne karm dekho aap apni capacity mein char cheeze kya kar sakte ho wo dekho wo agar because it is daunting it is very daunting ha or especially in public life and i i'm sure you relate to it additional responsibility to hoti hi hai aur wo wo kai kai bar maza bhi aata hai like in my profession if i am to speak i want to represent the common man there is an additional responsibility to go out there through my privilege which i definitely recognize as a privilege to go out there and represent the common man but am i entirely free to go out there and do things that i want to do because somebody might get offended you yeah. cannot please everyone yeah to hai wo thoda sa i mean and you know it's like uh, not just not please anyone and not and you offend at some point of time you have to think you get offended get offended i'll do it hmm. and you do it yeah. and then the repercussions come on yeah. you know i've seen many actors who who took a stand and got burnt so much so badly so badly that they withdrew into the shell yeah. and it's very hard to come out yeah, of that it's very hard and, then, and then comes the mental health yeah yeah it it definitely gets affected and uh, the spate of suicides which happened uh, you know in in the past couple of years did that disturb you because many of them were your generation people too it did it did especially uh, sushant because we uh, he was my junior from shamak and uh, we did television together hmm. so he was doing pavitra rishta and i was doing balika vadhu at that time two very popular shows yeah i mean it did it did bother me a lot hmm. it did but what was made out of it bothered me all the more i mean media trials uh, accusations bizarre stories conspiracy theories I mean there are so many machineries operating you don't even know ulterior motive kya hai kiska kya hai so I think Do, are yeah. artists uh, more vulnerable uh, in terms of you know the pressures that come on you at a mental level um do you like do you have that because you have to be vulnerable to emote ji any artist has to be whether the any performing artist yeah. whether it's a musician whether it's a yeah. dancer an actor True. if you don't have vulnerability you will not be able to emote all the nine rasas you have to have it. absolutely beautiful right? said you put it the just the right way so that also opens up the doors in your yeah. mind right you can't keep yeah. the doors shut yeah. so when you open up the doors of your mind you are receptive yes. then to those pressures absolutely so how do you cope what is your 
what is the capacity you can't shut those doors i mean i mean you definitely can't shut those doors but if you've recognized that recognized every bit of what you've just put so beautifully i think then there comes a point wherein you really have to shut the door for your own sanity hmm woh zaruri bhi hai hmm aur mera manna hai ki uske liye ek bahut hi robust family system hona zaruri hai hmm like your domestic by the end of it you come home you come home to family so to have a peaceful place where you can which you can actually call home a sanctuary a sanctuary you that is so what you, i have done your family uh, uh, your father is a, a practicing christian your mother yes. is a sikh yeah. you're married to a hindu yes uh, so you're exposed to <laughs> re- different religions yes. uh, in different your family cultures in different family. cultures yes. so uh, and now you're expecting a baby yeah. so uh, the baby is all the more richer for being exposed to more, yes. so many other religions india, india yes. right yes. a microcosm microcosm and But, you yeah meko mere kitne dost kehte hain ye actual national integration hai yaar this his house is india mere ghar mein my my cousins married to a gujarati my masi is married a muslim uh, my brothers married a muslim my real brothers married a muslim woman i have married a rajput thakur aur hamare ghar mein sab kuch manaya jata hai jab eid hoti hai to meri maa ghar pe kheer banati hai and it's beautiful it's hmm. beautiful i love it yeah i i belong to a place called varsova in mumbai jahan pe mere ghar ke aas paas teen char masjid hain ek church hai panch sat mandir hain aapko azan ki bhi awaaz aati hai aapko subah ki aarti ki ghanti bhi sunai deti hai aur shaam ko church ki ghanti bhi sunai deti hai aur wo aapko shor nahi lagta shor nahi lagta bilkul nahi bilkul nahi हमारे यहाँ पे यारी रोड में और शायद बहुत लोगों को पता होगा मुंबई मुंबई में दैज अ प्लेस कॉल्ड यारी रोड यारी दोस्ती यारी इट्स कॉल्ड यारी रोड बिकॉज देर इज अ मस्जिद दैट वाज मेड इन 1936 और समथिंग 26 1926 एंड अ टेंपल मेड जस्ट अ फ्यू इयर्स बिफोर दैट दे बोथ फेस ईच अदर ऑन द ऑपोजिट साइड ऑफ द रोड यू ऑलवेज लिव इन ऑलवेज वॉट वॉज चाइल्ड हुड लाइक it was like any other childhood you know it was it was like an average middle class boy's life i used to be out and about all day matlab bahut khelta tha main the reason i'm asking you mm-hmm. is that uh, we are in the weekend of 2611 while we yeah. are shooting this yeah. um what are your memories of that period did it uh, did it leave a lasting impact on you of course and as you said you know actors are people who are vulnerable so the moment i think about it it sort of really angers me mm. i was very angry i was nervous we were up all night in front of the television watching that footage pehle to kuch ghante lag gaye samajhne ke liye ki ho kya raha hai wo it was weird it was we just could not wrap our heads around it as to what had happened and my city you know it's mm. i've i've been बॉम्बे बॉय ऑल माई लाइफ तो वाकई ऐसा लगा था कि घर पर हमला हो गया है यू नो तो या वेरी एंग्री वेरी डिस्टर्ब दैट्स वट यू नो वेन वेन आई स्पीक विद पीपल फ्रॉम द फोर्सेज दे से दैट इट इट सियर्ड द नेशन इन अ पर्टिकुलर मैनर बट मोर सो बॉम्बे पीपल हु लिवड इन बॉम्बे फेल्ट दैट दैट इट रिप्ट थ्रू दै सिस्टम that you know there were riots before that there were the bombay blasts yeah. before that but something about 2611 shook the very core of the people in this city and not taking action then uh just let that wound fester some people wanted closure in some form did you feel at that stage ki kuch karna chahiye tha matlab in some way retaliate or no retaliate to the perpetrators yeah because it was a plot hatched in pakistan yes i i i know that i i know well of that i didn't feel it then i just felt see that's the thing right uh, we we captured a person hmm. alive yeah. injured and alive we gave him his fair trial hmm. sometimes that's the flip side of being the largest democracy in the world hmm. upholding your democratic values मुझे सिर्फ एक ये था 
कि इट शुडंट हैव सॉर्ट ऑफ गॉन ऑन फॉर टू लॉन्ग आई थिंक ही वॉज गिवन कैपिटल पनिशमेंट आफ्टर हाउ मेनी ईयर्स ओके सो द प्रोसेस इज इज प्रोसेस इज व्हाट बॉदर्ड बट देन आई आल्सो दैट्स द फ्लिप साइड आई यूज दिस वर्ड वेरी केयरफुली बिकॉज आई थिंक वी वी हैव अ वेरी प्राउड डेमोक्रेसी एंड द रूल ऑफ लॉ वॉज followed he was given his fair chance mm. you know the government of india then or you know the rightful thing was done at that time uh with regards to retaliation to a to pakistan uh it's it's too complex i think too complex it's too complex and it's yeah. too complex and i know fair bit about it but still not qualified enough to okay. speak on national uh, yeah television about this. i just felt that um i i needed to ask whether your generation as uh, as mumbai kars um still remember that of and course. It, it still i is even remember 93 you remember i remember 93 i was 5 years old i was 6 years old i was 5 years old at that time yeah Ma- march mein hua tha 93 ha uh, blast yes march yeah yeah i was uh, i turned 6 in april i remember mere ghar pe uh, कुछ लोग आए थे रहने के लिए hmm. हमने उनको छः दिन अपने घर में रखा था मेंबर्स ऑफ द मुस्लिम कम्युनिटी वो वेलकम डोम बिकॉज दे वर स्केड फॉर देयर लाइफ उनके कुछ बच्चे थे एंड वी वर ओब्लिविस कि क्या हुआ है hmm. तो बड़ों ने हमें अलग ही रखा था ज़्यादा बताया नहीं था hmm. तो उनके बच्चों के साथ हम खेलते थे hmm. तो मुझे याद है चार पाँच दिन मेरे घर में बहुत सारे बच्चे थे एंड वी हैड अ ग्रेट टाइम आई रिमेंबर दैट आई ऑल्सो रिमेंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स इलेवन वेरी वेरी वेल आई ऑल्सो रिमेंबर Uri very very well I remember a lot of things very very well but my my thought process it's too personal also you know what I feel I think I think rehne dete hain when you come in, you've not done those kind of national integration or nationalism wale tilting films so far right I think 12th fail is a very nationalistic film 12th fail I Correct. think desh prem के लिए बहुत कुछ कहती है ये फिल्म आई हैव डॉन द यूनिफॉर्म येट इफ दैट्स व्हाट व्हाट यू मीन प्लेड एन ऑफिसर आई वुड लव टू आई वुड लव टू देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स आई एम सो कीनली इंटरेस्टेड इन लाइक आई रीड अ लॉट अबाउट यू मस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ इट यू नो ऑपरेशन मेक दूत इज समथिंग विच आई एम रियली रियली इंटरेस्टेड इन ओके आई नो हाउ इट स्टार्टेड आई नो वॉट इट्स अबाउट Siachen, huh? Siachen, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but Twelfth Fail is a nationalistic film. It it is, you, if you can see it that way, it it talks about sure. how you can contribute to your. When country. When you wanted to come into films, um, did you like? Did you have an ideal that how may I want to be like a Bachchan or I want to be like a Dilip Kumar or or I want to be a Nasiruddin Shah? Or I want to be a Farooq Sheikh. Or, did were there these role models that you had? There were. There were. There were. There were. Okay but uh, I had sort of customized my own idols to fit my own imagination hmm. I wanted to or I still aspire to be a mixture of Irfan Khan Rahul Dravid who has nothing to do with acting but That's his, because if you're cricket thing because of his discipline because okay. of his sheer commitment to work hmm. uh, a mixture of Irfan Khan uh, Rahul Dravid could also be uh, that's quite a combination yeah right <laughs> it's weird to so customize kiya hua hai maine apne apne usse but it's it's amazing anil no, kapoor for the longevity ha huh. of his career uh, you know how so how please that is anil kapoor somebody that scientists should study yeah yeah how he still <laughs> looks the way he does yeah It, i yeah. just saw him uh, he was uh, one of the guests at uh, rashtrapati bhavan on 15th august i just looked at him and i said my god from my childhood mr india days to now not a wrinkle on his face and he still has that yeah. exuberance of youth he still walks faster than most young people yeah i've i've been lucky to hang around him during one of the films i did uh, which one was dil dhadakne do oh yeah of course dil dhadakne do Haan. so kai baar unke sath how do you fit into that grouping i don't know of I'm, actors uh, did you gel with them all? most of them okay. with most of them of course hmm. and there was an opportunity for me to sort of learn so much from seniors like shifali uh, shifali shah anil kapoor and yeah. even priyanka chopra for that matter of fact 
yeah farhan Farhan. akhtar anushka sharma ranveer singh yeah all these guys you know uh, and ranveer did such a small role but he still left an impact in everybody in that film yeah it it was a beautiful film i'm very very proud of that film yeah yeah okay but tell me will you be coming in mirzapur again please don't Mm. say no (laughs) really uh no i think i'm done with mirzapur Why? I saw an interview with Pankaj Tripathi in which you know he's done for Krewan two, yeah. three, everything. And he says after a while that repetition नहीं करने का मन करता. मन नहीं करता. Really? नहीं करता. और मेरा तो वैसे ही attention span बहुत कम है. हाँ. तो and also I feel कि you know हो गया. हो गया. और अनफॉर्चुनेटली आम तौर पे ये हमारे यहाँ पे कल्चर भी ना सिनेमा में खास तौर पे कि एक चीज चल जाती है तो उसको इतना निचोड़ते हैं जब तक फट नहीं जाता. तो आई डोंट सब्सक्राइब टू दैट आई थिंक कि किसी चीज की यूएसपी जो है उसको वहीं तक रख के छोड़ सम डिड वेल नो लाइक हेरा फेरी एंड ऑल दैट दे वर ओके लाइक इवन द सेकंड वन वाज ओके बट व्हेन द शोले वाज रीमेड इट वाज लाइक देयर आर सो मेनी केसेस लाइक डू नॉट डू दिस एवर अगेन मत करो फिर से बट मिर्जापुर इफ यू गाइस ऑल ऑफ यू कैन कम बैक द होल लॉट यू स्टिल डूइंग द सेम काइंड ऑफ फिल्म्स दैट्स जस्ट इट इट्स नॉट एज इफ you completely changed you know all those who acted in mirzapur hmm. or even gangs of wasipur those who did ji wo uh, type cast kar bhi dete hain na log ha aap yahi to hai na hamare yahan pe problem i see it as a problem aur wo chahe casting directors ho writers ho producers ho ya directors ho ya koi bhi ho ha ki uh, isne ye kiya hai to jab tak ghis nahi jata tab tak yahi karao kyunki dukaan chal rahi hai <laughs> i i i don't kind of subscribe what do, to that. what do they think what do you think they think when they think of vikrant masi कैसे रोल देने चाहिए कोई हट के रोल दे दो अभी तक तो मतलब वो कॉमन मैन के ही रोल्स आ रहे हैं <laughs> वो लार्ज देन लाइफ रोल्स नहीं आ रहे हैं द गाई नेक्स्ट डोर और रिप्रेजेंटिंग द कॉमन पीपल और द कॉमन मैन दैट इज़ व्हाट इज़ कमिंग बट आई एम स्टिल ट्राइंग टू फाइंड माय वे टू डू वेरी पार्ट विद इन दैट यू नो डेस्परेटली रोमांटिक कैरेक्टर standing under the balcony with the roses in her teeth i i actually have i did a web series called broken but beautiful it did huh. really really well huh. try watching it if you can i know you're huh. supremely busy no, no. but uh, i did that and it's it's kind of uh, i've done everything you know um, sports because you are a sporting person i would did, love to i would love to didn't get anything that a lot of people out. keep bringing stuff but it's still not are you choosy there. too choosy i don't know i mean it something has to sit here within ha huh. and if it sits within then i'm on but ek to waise hi saal ke 365 din mein se aap 3 se 4 filme hi kar sakte hain <laughs> you know are you okay do you have a, a set thing ki main teen karunga main isse zyada main char filme karta hu saal ki okay uh 10 mahine kaam karta hu 2 mahine chutti leta hu where do you go what do you it do depends. Okay. it depends it depends is it. the hills the beach what do you like It totally बीच बीच में भी छुट्टियां ले लेता हूँ मैं पोस्ट माई मैरिज और पोस्ट माई रोक का पोस्ट आफ्टर एंगेजमेंट आई फ्रीक्वेंट शीतल प्लेस विच इज हिमाचल सो वी फ्लाई टू हिमाचल आई लिव विद माई इन लॉज स्टे देर फॉर टेन ट्वेल्व डेज यू नो आई प्रिफर घर क्योंकि घर से बाहर बहुत रहते हैं Uh, the nature of our job is such. So does the mountain call you? Yeah, yeah, it does. In fact, it does. it's calling me now. I just spoke to my in-laws two, three days back. Because I've just seen that. Unless the hills, you feel the uh, the magnet of the, uh, you know, of that. Yeah. You have to know what it means, like to go to. And the hills. my wife and I are big Mahadev bhaks. So, our what is that? And because they are Devi people, in Himachal, they have a lot of their Kul Devta, Kul Devi, they are very devoted. Yeah. तो उनके घर के पास नैना देवी पड़ता है तो वो मंदिरों के दर्शन होते हैं हमारे वी डू यू नो बाबा बालकनाथ जी हैं तो वो हमारा रिचुअल है कि हम जाते हैं तो ये चार पांच जगह हम घूम फिर के आते हैं हाँ। वो ज्यादा बुलाता है ओके या फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम व्हेन आई वाज रीडिंग द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड व्हेन आई वाज डूइंग माय रिसर्च ऑन यू व्हेन आई सॉ दैट मेंशनड अ कपल ऑफ टाइम्स अंडररेटेड माय प्रेजम्पशन वाज दैट व्हेन पीपल टॉक अबाउट से एन इरफान खान नवाजुद्दीन सिद्दीकी व्हेन दे टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल दीस पीपल व्हाई इज योर नेम नॉट देयर इन एवरी इन दैट लिस्ट इट ऑट टू बी देयर सो या तो इट्स अ ओवरसाइट व्हेन व्हेन दे टॉक अबाउट you know when they put those names together your your name is not there but considering your body your work it should be there i think not yet i mean with them hmm. with their fans are nahi not yet i mean i'm just 36 right now there hmm. is still a lot of work to be sure. done okay 
so many people you know sometimes they tell me that uh, you are underrated i don't think so i am underrated mm. i have survived for 20 years by the grace of the audiences of course but my producers have backed me my writers have backed me my directors have backed me mm. i don't do those staple things like the ones that we spoke about i i don't do those staple things which you are conditioned to categorize as mainstream hmm. isliye aapko lagta hai main underrated hu uh, would you act in uh, in south indian films because those are making waves like they because they're so phenomenally yeah. large yeah. and the the technical quality the acting the the sheer skills which go into making those some of those big blockbuster movies is there a possibility for us to see you in those why films why not yeah why not i would love to be a part of that Yeah. and the beauty post covid especially because of you know streaming platforms is regional content has gotten more eyeballs now okay it was only during covid when all these streaming platforms acquired regional cinema the lines got blurred ha huh. so i would love to be a part of some you know tamil film or telugu film or malayalam film or it it could be it could be a film from the northeast as well yeah it could be a gujarati film a gujarati film chelo show represented us at the oscars yeah uh, i mean indian cinema right now is booming it's a great bhojpuri time bhojpuri films bhojpuri punjabi films, films they are all doing so yes. well regional yes. content is like punjabi music out there music yeah n- i'm not a big fan of it <laughs> the the, the, the yeah. it's it's too in your face i feel right now Uh, I like yeah. the softer genre. <laughs> I don't like the gaddi wali bit yeah. and the <laughs> the guns and things. Okay, there's one question yeah. which my team tells. But me I can I finish one thing, yeah, ma'am? Sure. If I'm not taking too not much time, all, you go asked go me a question. मेरे दिमाग में actually काफी time से वो चल रहा है about Pakistan. Yeah. You asked me, and Correct. I want to answer that. Yeah. I I am all for democracy. Hmm. And I only feel the right war is not an option. the only way is through diplomatic channels and i think we've done that beautifully well okay that is what i feel after 2611 gussa bahut tha man bahut tha ki aur wo knee jerk reaction ek ek bacche ka aap agar keh le ki you know kyun kiya aisa hamare sath but i think uh, as an example of the largest democracy in the world or you know upholding those democratic rights uh, डिप्लोमेटिक चैनल से जो हमने जवाब दिया है आई थिंक दैट इज द वे वॉर इज नॉट एन ऑप्शन एट लीस्ट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री वर्ल्ड ओवर आई वुड से विद रिगार्ड टू देंट प्यूटिन विद रिगार्ड टू द यूक्रेन वॉर दैट इन दिस सेंचुरी एट लीस्ट नाउ वॉर शुड बी एन ऑप्शन और वॉर शुड बी द वे फॉरवर्ड to resolving conflicts but unfortunately that, it's unfortunate. happening at so many places yes the israel hamas war the israel hamas war people talk about the israel hamas war people talk about the ukraine russia war yeah nobody talks about the civil war in central africa yeah correct that's not in yes no. absolutely nobody talks about there's a fatigue right yeah. ki har jagah hai kitna you know even the media yeah. for us to cover all these conflicts is yes. also one expensive two exhausting three um i want to ask you i just one question it really yeah. does it sort of break you it at some time it absolutely does yeah. and the hurtful thing is that sometimes you want to tell the story but there's no audience for it yeah you know what you were saying when you, you when you select views and all uh, it's like when you want to do a positive story in say a naxal affected area mm. there's a school which has been built uh life is changing for people who for three generations have not seen yeah development yeah. and you did that story and the reporter who's done the story from that area has done it with such great difficulty risked his life gone to that area covered that story wants to tell that story but there is no viewer for that story people are more interested ki falane dimkana ka you know what i mean yeah. like yeah. two figure heads yelling and screaming at each other will make more news Unfortunately what and you were has, saying And that has that has been the case right Yeah yeah So unfortunately it's the viewer who decides the content So agar aap nahi dekhoge to wo nahi chalega Nahi chalega So good view see yeah. good content yeah. Okay my team tells me two things which I And the same thing I would want to just add, yeah. add it as I said you know ki aap hi nahi dekhna chahte hain jaise maine aapko kaha jo same cheez ma'am ne kahi hai Yeah ki aap hi nahi dekhna chahte hain to kya hi kar sakte hain fir Correct. unfortunately So yeah. your childhood My he tells me that yeah. there is a story for your your name 
Yeah, I'm called Sonu actually at home. Huh. Uh, and you're a prank prankster, as a kid. I mean, I was. Huh. I, abhi, I still retain the same circle. You know, uh, abhi bhi aapse milne ke baad, I think thoda to time mil jayega mujhe sabse milne ke liye weekend hai. Huh. So T T khelte hain, carrom khelte hain. We have a small clubhouse. Huh. So uh, that's your pressure valve. Yes. Yes. To be with real people. To be with real people, and more ninety percent of them, like a couple of them are actors. Huh. Uh, still, my we started off in TV together. They are happily doing TV today, bhi, and uh, we still retain the same friendship, you know. But that's as you said, it's my pressure valve. I just go there, unwind, yeah. sit with real people, and just cricket. Sort of Did you watch cricket. the matches? Yeah. Yeah. Was it disappointing when you saw that? Did you see the final at all? Of course, I have seen each and every game. You did. Every single game. Okay. All hundred overs. Yeah. Yes, yes. And does it get you agitated? And is it an emotional thing, or do you watch it like? No, no. It is. Ke? It is an emotional thing. Yeah. 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 You. Like, कभी कभी तो मतलब my friends have to calm me down. But हम सब एक जैसे ही हैं तो वे लाइक कि जब विकेट जाता है तो. I've yet to meet somebody who sits calmly and watches cricket. Yeah, of course, and especially a World Cup game, a World Cup tournament happening in India. हाँ. I mean, अगले बारह साल तक तो होगा नहीं मिनिमम बारह साल तक तो नहीं होगा तो यह वॉज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी हमें से चलो शुक्र है कि लोग अब इतने समझदार हो गए कि उनको गालियां नहीं दे रहे उनके घर पत्थर नहीं फेंक रहे हैं अब क्योंकि वो realize kar rahe ki they actually played really really well yeah and yeah. Uh, fortunately I, i i don't know whether you remember it but i remember the scene when uh, in the stadium they set fire and i felt so ashamed that this eden gardens happening. 96 yeah, 96 right? yeah. i remember that yeah. but thankfully this didn't happen yeah, though yeah, the yeah. ahmedabad crowd was uh, was criticized hell yeah. of a lot for being unsportsman like but they did not throw bottles yeah. on the field I've seen that happen. Yeah. I've seen fire. I've yeah. seen even a Bangalore crowd getting angry, but yeah. this time it didn't happen. It didn't happen. So in one way, I felt relieved that. Yeah. Ye nahi We've hua. come a long way. I think. We've come a long way. <laughs> Scope for improvement, yes. but still come a yes. long way. Anyway, on that thank note, you. thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Same here, ma'am. Thank And you so much. Wishing you all the best. And wish you all the luck too. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you for watching or listening to this edition of ANI podcast with Smita Prakash. Do like or subscribe on whichever channel you have seen this or heard this. Namaste, Jai Hind. Click here to watch the previous episodes.